we decided to make the North Idaho Predator. That is badass. <laughs> Hey guys, Tim from Heavy Metal Off-Road. Hey, today we are going to the Dishman Dodge uh, dealership in Spokane Valley, Washington, and there's a little overlanding expo we're gonna go check out, so let's get to it. All right, parked here at the Dishman Hills Natural Recreation Area, and we're gonna unload the Bronco from here and just cruise on over to the dealership. All right, well, let's start at this end, work away past the limo. Okay, so I got Ben here from Mountain Mafia, also owner of Purcell Trench Ranch in uh, North Idaho. Um, we're here with this rock buggy. And ben, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on? Sure. Yeah, we're here at the uh, Dishman Dodge Titan Truck uh, Four Wheel Drive Car Show. Here we come out, say what's up to a bunch of our friends that are involved in this, and uh, promote some of our events with the Mountain Mafia. We brought out our new Pred Predator race truck. Uh, Havoc Racer, and uh, if you're into family-friendly vehicular violence, come check us out, Mountain Mafia Entertainment. Yep. What kind of events do you guys do? We do uh, some side-by-side -side racing, we do top truck challenge style oh, challenges cool. with these big tire, high horsepower Havoc Racers, we call them. Nice. And uh, we call it Havoc style racing, and we have people from Canada and all over the United States, really, that come and race with us. And uh, next event is up at the Mountain Mafia Ranch, north of Bonners Ferry. And uh, we're gonna qualify for our Mountain Havoc event that happens in June. Uh, that's gotta be a killer time. Oh, it's a blast, man. Family friendly, respectable, and uh, not soft at all. You got camping there too, right? Excellent camping, huge campground, uh, lots of dispersed camping, and uh, good for the whole family. Right on. Well, Mike, would you walk through the beast here? No, go for it. Let's okay. check it out. Oh yeah. So we run planetary axles. These are some home-built V-lock wheels that we made. And uh, we run some monster truck shocks and built this vehicle from scratch to compete in our Havoc style racing. It's about 850 horsepower, 600 cubic inch Merlin motor. And it's you know, this vehicle isn't 100% finished yet, but uh, it moves and drives. We've been testing and uh, can't wait to get get racing with this thing myself. How much do you think this truck weighs? I know how much it weighs. Um, it's over 9,000 pounds. And a lot of that's due to the planetary axles and the heavy bead locks and tractor tires. But this thing moves out pretty fast and uh, it's, it's tough, so you have to finish the race to, to win the race, so uh, built for longevity, and uh, this is a stout machine. It's gonna do really well in the Havoc series this year. Brain. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. We were having fun with this rig, putting it together, so, you know, we decided to make the North Idaho Predator. 
That is badass. <laughs> that is complete badass. It's fun. We enjoy it. What size rod ends are these? Those are uh, EMF. Those are EMF uh, custom built rod ends. And they use a fully greased and a half shank and a one inch bolt. The best rod ends on the planet, EMF. Well, Ben, I want to thank you for taking the time to show us around uh, the, uh, the Predator Beast and giving us a little information about the Mountain Mafia. So we'll see you at the next, uh, next event. Heck yeah, right on, Tim. Look forward to it. Thanks. Well, I'm here with Harold Wells, and we have his 2007 Jeep JK. Can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the Jeep and the story behind it? The, the Jeep is uh, Rubicon, and uh, my son, Harold Jr., bought it back in 2007 after he had a rollover accident that left him paralyzed from the neck down. Um, he took it to a friend of his and had uh, an air suspension, roll bar modifications, and stuff so that he could get in and out of the Jeep with a Hoyer lift. It's, it's ready ready for anybody who wants to, that has a mobility issue to take a ride off the road. He enjoyed it, his, his time that he had left. Uh, he passed away in January of 2017. He did not regret a moment. You mind doing a little walk around telling us about the Jeep? It's got air suspension, paint protection. Uh, it's got a lot of body armor on it. Rock sliders, Walker Evans, back hairs, tools, and uh, essentials, first aid kit, whatnot. He's got a rear view camera. He can see what's going on behind us because he couldn't turn his head around. Passenger's got a five point harness, a roll bar comes apart so that somebody who has to be put in with like a wire lift. The signs are his design. Harold, I just want to thank you for taking the time to talk about your son and giving us a nice tour of the Jeep. Uh, you got a very nice ride here. Thank you. Well, the next here, ride here. We've got the Mountain Mafia crew here. Some heavy metal products on display. Mountain Mafia koozie is always nice.
1951 M104 free hop. It was built in Portland, Oregon. It served its life in the military at Larson Air Force Base on the lake. It serviced the B-52s in a bombardment. That's cool. It, That's super cool. It was relinquished from service in 62. I'm the second civilian owner and I turned it into this. Back at the shop at the end of the day here. It's about 105 degrees and it's smoky, but it's otherwise been a very good day. I did win this Goba Cube, a uh, portable charcoal grill, which is pretty cool. I got to check out all kinds of, you know, cool Jeeps and Toyota pickups, the Tacomas, um, a Raptor, another Bronco, which is pretty sweet. Um, got to give away a bunch of stickers and hats and stuff, so. Um, and we got to meet some cool people and make a couple friends. Definitely well worth the trip. Thanks for watching. Check out heavymetaloffroad.com, Facebook, Instagram. And until next time, grab a life by the rocks.